Hello, it's time for the second round profit of the 22-23 Emirates FA Cup, which means I'm back on my journey all the way from the extra preliminary round all the way through to the final at Wembley. Welcome back to away days and welcome back where the wheel is going to decide my fate. If you weren't already aware, wherever this wheel lands on decides which fixture I'm off to for this week's episode. However, we have two new additions to the wheel. We have Ellis Picks, which will mean I can pick any game I want to go to, and then Fan Vote in which you guys will vote on where I'm off to for this round. Without further ado, there's some amazing fixtures on there. Let's get this wheel spun and see where I'm off to for this round. Come on, come on then. Come on then. Where am I going? Fan vote is where I'm off to. The way this is gonna work is the fan vote is sandwiched in between Ebbsfleet against Fleetwood and Forest Green against Old Church. So you guys are gonna vote on a poll to decide where I'm going to Ebbsfleet or Forest Green. So vote in the poll and decide my fate now. Votes have been tallied and I am at Stonebridge Road to see Ebbsfleet United against Fleetwood Town. Yes, they came out victorious in the poll over on the Emirates FA Cup Twitter. So as I look around the stadium and get in and amongst it, it is proper football and weather today and I can't wait. Proper, proper ground this one. I'm so excited for this game. But anyway, we need to put it back to past Ellis, who's going to be showing us what our challenge is for today's episode. Hello, future Ellis. Here is going to be your forfeit for this week's episode. Let's spin the wheel and find it out. Come on. You are going to be... Attempting to start a chant. Good luck with that. <laughs> yes, that's why I've got to try and start a chant. That's fun. <laughs> anyway, we're getting closer and closer to the kickoff. So let's go and speak to some fans about what today means to them and what the cup means to them as a whole. Look who it is. <laughs> Joined by Phil, Ebbsfleet fan, on the cusp of the third round. How are you feeling? Excited. I mean, nervously excited. It's been a long time since we've got to the third round. Obviously, we've only hit the fourth round once, third round twice. So to make it three times would be absolutely fantastic. So obviously, Ebbsfleet's best ever run was in the 62-63 season. I am right in thinking that, aren't I? The fourth round. What did it mean to have another a great run and get to the third round again. It'd be absolutely amazing. I mean, I wasn't around in 62-63, uh, but I've heard stories from people. The excitement and obviously when we got to the third round, Aston Villa away, which was supposed to be home, but we switched it. Um, that was amazing, I heard, hearing the stories from people uh, who went that day. So to be able to get a third round tie, maybe get an interesting place to go, it'd be, uh, it'd be, fa it'd be fantastic. Speaking of an interesting place to go, what would be your dream tie? Personally, I'd like to go to the new Tottenham Stadium. I think that would be amazing. But we're talking too soon. I don't want to jinx it. And then finally, what is the one piece of food you recommend I try at Ebbsfleet? Oh, you've got to go for the German sausage. You've got to go for, you know, German manager, German food. OK, I'll, I'll give it a try. Thank you very much and good luck. I've taken Phil's advice and I've gone for currywurst. I've never tried currywurst before, so this is going to be my first time ever trying it. Let's give it a try and then give it a rating out of 10. Oh my, that might well be the best thing I've ever had at a football ground. That is unbelievable. Ebbsfleet United, you can see the table on screen. They're coming in with a 9.9. .9. That is, um, that's going to be hard to be top. That is unbelievable. Enjoy your place at the top of the table. That is unreal. I'm Ben, a Fleetwood fan for my sins. I run a YouTube channel called Cod's Vlog. On the verge of the third round today. Yeah. How are you feeling? I'm nervous because I want to get there because I think, I said, we've got Oxford City round one. That's job done. This is the big step now. It's kind of getting into that third round where we should aim for every season as a football club. Obviously, Fleet would have never actually made the fourth round in your history. So what would it mean to just have a bit run further and make that fourth round this year? It'll be huge. Uh, I'll always remember getting to the third round when we were in the National League. We had Jamie Vardy and we lost to Blackpool 5-1. And You know, getting to the fourth round would be unbelievable. Uh, I'm Jordan. I'm Geyser. Emirates FA Cup, we're on the verge of the third round. How good would it feel to get there? Oh, it'd be amazing. I'd love it. I want a Premier League club away. Who would that club be in your eyes? United or Liverpool. Who's your dream tie? I'd love United. I'm a United fan anyway, so I'd love to go Old Trafford. So you're a United fan, you travelled all the way from Fleetwood here today? Yes, <laughs> I have. Um, we're a bit of both. We follow our club where we live from and our Premier League clubs as well. What does the Emirates FA Cup mean to you as, as obviously younger fans? Do you still feel the, cup, the Cup's magic? Everything. Yeah. Like, this is our main... Me I'd rather win today and lose in the league on Friday. Can I get a score prediction for both of you? I'm going to go 3-1 Fleetwood. 4-0 Fleetwood. We're getting very close to kick-off now. The Ebbsfleet fans are in fine 
fine voice. Great to chat to them and Fleetwood fans, see what the game means to them. They're mostly fans of being incredible. The mascots cheering them up. I've got to get in there and later and try and start a charm, which is fun. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, Ed Miller, communications manager at Ebbs Fleet United. On the verge of the third round of the Emirates FA Cup, how are you feeling ahead of today? Really nervous. It's really exciting. The fans are getting in great voice now. 3,000 in here and the third round is, is at stake. You know, it could be big teams in the next run, but got to get over the hurdle here. The Ebbs Fleet's best ever run was in the 62-63 season, reaching the fourth round. How good would it feel to get to the third round and maybe go one further and match your best ever? Yeah, I mean, we've only done it once in my lifetime and I'm approaching 50, so it'd be nice to do it a second time. Um, yeah, like you say, 27 years since we were last in the third round, so we're really buzzing for it. Who's your dream tie? Uh, well, I'm, I've got family in Liverpool, so Liverpool away would do me. Can I get a score prediction? Uh, I'm, go, I'm going... I'll go for 2-1 to us. Love that. Well, enjoy the game and good luck. Right, so, cheers, Ellis. Oh, he's aired me. Oh, my God. That's heartbreaking. <laughs> there come the players, ready to come out. Huge day, huge game. Here we go, Ben. Need to go get in amongst it. Come on. Emirates FA Cup second round. I'm buzzing. Let's do this. Very, very good. Still no no here. Um, it's not been much in terms of clear cut chances, but the atmosphere has been great, and I think one goal could decide this. Although I've never been good at predicting football. Oh, oh, no! Oh! Biggest chance of the game so far that Brobs fleet into the side net and from Polyon. Still no no. Oh, oh! Still no no. Everton had the best chances by far. It's still no no. Polyon and Bingham are looking very, very lively for them. Still no no. Just getting closer to half time. Fun fact, I've just been told um, S3 United's manager, Dennis, who you might be watching this, so hello, you in the future, has seen some of the away days videos, so shout out to him. What a hero. <laughs> half time here, it's nil nil, and it's evenly poised, it's perfectly poised for a second half winner. And absolutely not going to be attacking their fans, so I'm going to get right in and amongst the second half because I'm aware I need to start a chart. So let's get involved in there, and I reckon we might see some late drama. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Yum. There we go. Thank you very much. Yeah, we'll see you in the second half. Let's get into it. And it's now time to try and start a chart. Sorry. Right. If I, if I try and start, if I try and start a chart, will you join in or are you going to mug me off? Adjudication panel start. You said if I start a chart and they start, I think that counts. Right, you guys can decide on screen now. Alright? Did, did, did that count? Yes. No, no, no. Something's gonna happen as I feel. This is it. This is it. Back to him. Shoot! Shoot! Ah. Don't shoot. Who said shoot? Who said shoot? So much space. Just like that, one nil Fleetwood. I just said to them, I was like, <laughs> oh, maybe I'm a jinx for nil nils. Oh, maybe I'm a jinx for losses as well. One nil Fleetwood. Ebbs Fleet have 15 minutes to salvage something from this game. It looked lively, but it's still time. 
Come on, please. That end would have run. Yeah, 10 to go, still 1-0. It's about five minutes to go. Once again, that end will completely erupt if a goal goes in, so we'll see. Still, surely one more chance will drop their way, surely. Four officials about to put his board up, and it is going to be five added on. Five for Ebsley to get someone back in this game. Come on. It's just not happened here for Ebsley today. The great chances, they probably had more chances than Fleetwood on the day. It's just, just not quite happened for them, but it's been a valiant effort and another fantastic run. It's looking like it's going to be a 28 year wait for them to reach the third round. One last chance to come forward though, here come Epsomate, they've got bodies in, we're in the box. It's a cross! Oh my god, it's been back to the line! Oh my god! That was the chance, I cannot believe it, I can't believe it. Fantastic run from Epsilon United this season. Season bow out in the second round proper, but they've got some great team spirit, great togetherness there. The fans are probably behind the team still as well, so yeah. Just couldn't quite get there to the third round this year. So Dennis, obviously you've took League One opposition all the way there. The fans there were fantastic. You proud of the journey? Yeah, proud of the fans uh, because they tried to support the boys so good today and our boys gave it a go. They tried until the last minute, as you could see. Um, we, we went a little bit tired after 70 minutes, what you could see, especially when you concede a goal then. Uh, I think this game was taking our chances, especially in the first half. We had three very good opportunities where you need to score at least one. Then it's a different game. They have to come out, they have to press more and we get more gaps. But it was not was not meant to be today, obviously, as you could see, even with the last um, situation was cleared off the line but at the end of the day we can't uh, change it anymore because the game is gone they enter the next round uh, congratulations to Fleetwood and good luck for them in the season and in the cup speaking of the cup quickly there's a lot of talk in this country about the magic of the Emirates FA Cup just managing at this level and getting to the second round do you feel the magic as a manager yeah, it's pretty new for me because I'm a foreigner, so I'm here. This is the third time now for me. It was a, last year we was in the first proper round. This year we're in the second proper round. So maybe we'll go in the third proper round next year. Then it's, it's definitely a good aim. Um, you can see and you could see today there is obviously a magic around the cup. But for me, we need to be ready for the league now because it's always good to have this kind of distraction in, in, in a cup game. But you need to be ready because in one week we start again in the league and then we have four games in, in, in two weeks. And there we have to be ready and there we have to grab the points because that's the most important thing for us. Yeah, just speaking of next year, it's now a 27-year wait for Epsic to make the third round, so fingers crossed you end that next season and best of luck with it. Thank you, yeah, that's exactly what so I think this one was 19 years, the next one's 27 years, so we aim for bigger. Yeah, no worries, yeah. thank you very much. Yes. Yeah, commiserations. So there we go, we're now ticking over to the third round of the Emirates FA Cup. Epsic came so close They're Great to speak to Dennis at the end, he is just... What a guy. Uh, unfortunately, Epsley couldn't get there. And they had the chances there, that one right at the end. I, I think that I set the scene perfectly. I was like, oh, I absolutely need the goal. And then he gets blocked on the line. It was devastating for them. But that's the FA Cup. You can't guarantee anything in this competition. Like, Epsley United have taken League One, Fleetwood Town, all the way there. And who knows what we're going to do in the next round of the Emirates FA Cup. By the time this goes out, the third round draw would have been made. So be sure to comment where you think I should be going for the third round of the 22-23 season of the Emirates FA Cup. I've been Ellis. Be sure to leave a like if you have enjoyed this. Be sure to subscribe to the Emirates FA Cup YouTube channel so you don't miss any content throughout this season of the Emirates FA Cup. And I'll see you in the next round. Bye.